Hey guys, how's it going today? Thanks for tuning in to Pittsburgh Christian Dating Number One Wingman. All right, today's topic is I want to talk about how to be able to get a woman's phone number. How to be able to get a woman's phone number. Have you ever gotten a woman's phone number before and you finally build up the courage to actually call her and you found out that she gave you the wrong number or the number you have called is no longer in service? Has this ever happened to you before? I bet it has. A good number of guys ask me common questions like, what is the best way to uh, get a woman's phone number? But I believe the major what the majority of guys are really wanting to know is how do they get a woman's number without being uh, terrified or scared of a negative response or rejection or just being flat out turned down. Well, today I want to share with you and I want to give you three cloak and dagger top secret ways for getting a woman's number. And if you follow these simple paint by number steps, you'll have no trouble in getting a woman's number. Oh, on a little side advantage of learning these skills, what I'm about to share with you, or I like to call them secrets, is that it will circumvent her flaking on you uh, later on down the line if you decide that, hey, this is the type of woman that I want to hang out with. So phase number one, let us begin. Phase number one, what I like to call the walk away close. And that's the name of our uh, subject today. The title of our subject is called the walk away close. Um, and how you, first of all, what you want to do with the walk away close is you want to diffuse any uh, apprehension or anxiety or phobias that she may be having. One of the things that, what, uh, one of the things women are apprehensive and guarded and skeptical about whenever guys are approaching them is uh, they're, they're, they're afraid that the reaction may be a little uh, weird or strange. And what you have to do, uh, because women are afraid of getting nervous. They, they are afraid of getting nervous and the whole conversation just being uncomfortable and embarrassed as much as you are. So knowing this little bit of information, I hope it will kind of give you a feeling of uh, freedom and liberation from the bonds of fear that may be holding you back from approaching women. And this also means that you're not the only one feeling a little uncomfortable and nervous. So the one thing you can do to ease that fear that she's having is not to appear to be desperate or come across as if you're just trying to pick her up and get her number. Why? Because you want her to see that you're interested in her as a woman and you don't want to come across as if you're just trying to pick her up and just get her number. She must first see that you're, try that you're interested in her first before she will give you her number. And if she does give you her number, uh, more than likely it will be a fake number because you skip a major part of the process. This leads me to my next step of the phase of the walk away close and that is make it interesting for her. Now as soon as soon after talking with her you, you, uh, you start and turn as if you're walking away and you abruptly turn back and say to her wow you know what or hey you know what you seem like a pretty cool people you seem like you pretty cool person or you have a nice vibe about you. What's the best way to continue this conversation? Or what's the best way for us to reconnect at a later time? What this walk away technique of turning away does is it establish uh, that what you are suggesting is almost like an afterthought. It's kind of like a PS. This technique is an under uh, the radar stealth pickup and it works like magic guys. Once you use it that is and when you do use it, you may not want to even use any other uh, closing technique on getting a girl's number because this technique is the type of no pressure type of pickup. And it establishes that what the interaction that you had with her, she piqued your interest. So that's, so that's why you said, wow. You know, because when you were talking to her, she was saying things that was interesting to you. So you came back with, wow, you know what? And when you say that, she's going to say, her response is going to be like, what? And now she's interested in what you have to say, which puts you back in charge of the conversation. And you're offering up something that sounds attractive to a woman, like saying the word reconnect and being a cool person. Women are motivated to focus on connecting and relationships and connection with people more than anything else. 
So the thought of reconnecting is right up her alley. Women love to reconnect with people on Facebook, through texting, uh, over the phone, through Twitter, Skype. So why not give her the pleasure of reconnecting with you? Phase number three of the walk away close is to never, 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 never ask a woman for her number. This is where a lot of guys fumble and drop the ball because they come across as being uncomfortable, nervous, uh, anxious, uh, and unsure, and sometimes just downright scared. They say things like, um, do you think uh, uh, maybe you want to, uh, uh, how about, you know, getting together sometimes, you know, uh, if you, you know, maybe if you're not too busy, uh, you know, they come out this type of clothes. And I want to say this type of clothes is just pathetic, guys. This won't work at all. You can't say anything that make you sound weak or you can't come across that uh, to say anything that make you sound weak or unsure or just uncomfortable or just scared. Uh, you must sound, you must, what you want to do, you must simply tell her what you want. Just tell her, say, hey, you know what, give me your number so we can continue this conversation at a later date. Pull out your phone and just wait for her to give you her number. Bam, it's that easy. That's all you have to get, do, guys. And by telling her what you want her number for, or by telling her why you want her number, uh, what this does is it removes any unlikely questions that may be lingering in her mind about why you want her number. Just remember that you have to be confident and when whenever you have to be confident whenever you're asking for a number because whenever you are confident your confidence will be uh, like a virus it will spread over to her nervousness and make her feel more confident and she will follow your league and because she will follow your league because she's nervous too she's just as nervous as nervous as you are so that's why you have to be confident and if you don't believe if you don't believe what i'm saying just hand her your phone and let her put her number in your phone and watch her hand as it shakes a little. And that way you can see that she's actually really nervous too. So as she's holding your phone, look and see, watch her hand and you'll see it shaking. So by you being more confident, it will make her feel confident and more secure that it's okay to give you her number. So in summary guys, Number one, phase number one, diffuse any anxiety or approach pho or phobia uh, that women be having. Remember, the one thing women are apprehensive and guarded about and skeptical is that guys, whenever they approach them, they may come across as strange or creepy or it just don't seem natural. Or number two, make it interesting for her and show her that you're interested in her. Remember, you don't want to seem as if you're just interested in her and she's just some sexual object. Remember, you must first show that you're interested in her first before she would give you her number. And last but not least, number three, never, never, never ask a woman for her phone number. You must tell her what you want her to do. Just say, hey, give me your number uh, so we can continue this conversation at another time. Pull out your cell phone and just wait for her to give you a number. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. This is your brother Cedric, a.k.a. Moat, saying from the Pittsburgh Christian Dating Wing, saying, hey, guys, God bless you. Now get out there and do this stuff, and I will see you in the next video.